Changing your own oil feels like one of the last honest victories a car owner can claim in 2025. 10 minutes, 30 bucks, and you're supposedly golden. Except, most people are quietly planting landmines in their engines, without realizing it. Back in late 2024, SAE International dropped a bombshell paper that nobody in the mainstream auto media wanted to touch. 37% of all early engine deaths happened because of something done, or not done, in the first, three days after an oil change. Not old age, not bad gas, not even cheap oil. Just pure procedural sabotage. Today I'm counting down the eight silent killers that turn a routine service into a five-figure repair bill. These aren't theories. They're documented, photographed, and torn down in laboratories. Let's begin the countdown. Mistake eight, the hidden double gasket catastrophe when that old filter spins off. Nine times out of ten, the rubber seal stays glued to the engine like it has been welded there. You can't see it through the film of oil, so you screw the new filter on, and now you have two gaskets fighting for the same seat. The seal can't compress properly, pressure leaks past both rings, and what starts as an innocent overnight puddle turns into a highway oil geyser. Real world example, a 2022 Civic. See, lost an entire engine at 58,000 miles because the owner never fell for that leftover gasket. Two seconds running your finger around the mounting flange prevents a $6,000 nightmare. Do it every single time. Mistake seven, draining stone cold oil and leaving poison behind. You roll out of bed on Saturday morning, pop the drain plug while the engine is ice cold and think you got it all. Wrong. At ambient temperature, motor oil turns into molasses, literally 10 to 12 times thicker than when the engine is hot. That syrup clings to every corner, oil galleys behind the timing chain inside the cylinder heads. You're lucky if you actually remove 70 to 75% of the old oil. The rest stays behind and instantly contaminates your brand new $90 synthetic the second you fire it up. Independent oil analysis labs consistently show cold drained engines carry 15 to 22%. Higher wear metals and combustion sludge for the entire next interval. Fix. Start the car, let it idle 5 to 7 minutes until the temp needle moves. The oil thins dramatically and pours out clean and fast. You'll actually see the color change in real time. Mistake 6. The half-quart overfill that foams your bearings to death. Better a little too much than too little, right? Dead wrong. The crankshaft on most engines spins with only millimeters of clearance above the oil level. Add even 400 to 500 milliliters extra and those counterweights start whipping the oil into cappuccino foam at 4,000 to 6,000 RPM. Aerated oil can't carry load. Bubbles collapse and metal kisses metal. A German testing institute ran back-to-back 10,000-mile -back tests and found crankshaft bearings in deliberately overfilled engines wore four times faster. Rod bearing scores, spun bearings, blown rear main seals, all from being generous on the fill. Pour slow, check on flat ground, stay dead center between the dipstick marks. No exceptions. Mistake 5. Starting the engine with a bone-dry filter, brand new filter looks perfect, right? It's also completely empty. When you hit the key, the oil pump has to fill 300 to 400 milliliters of filter volume before a single drop reaches the camshaft or turbo bearings. Those first 4 to 6 seconds are pure starvation. Universities with clear block engine rigs have filmed this. The upper valve train literally runs dry while the filter fills. Over a car's life, those few seconds add up to the majority of total wear. The pro move, pre-fill the new filter with clean oil until the pleats are soaked. Stand it upright so it doesn't spill, then spin it on. Instant pressure, zero dry start damage. Mistake four, skipping the post-start dipstick recheck. You just poured in five quarts, everything reads perfect, you close the hood and peel out. Congratulations, you just drove away almost a full quart low. Here's why. That empty filter you just installed sucks up 0.6 to 1.1 quarts the moment the pump spins. The level on the stick drops instantly. If you never recheck after idling 60 to 90 seconds and letting it sit for 3 minutes, you're running low without knowing it until the bearings knock. This 2-minute habit has saved more engines than almost anything else on this list. Mistake 3. Installing the filter with a dry O-ring that black rubber ring looks tough. But dry rubber against aluminum or steel generates insane friction and heat as you tighten. Microscopic tears form on the sealing surface that you'll never see. Until 20 minutes of driving and 50 sigh of hot oil pressure turn those tears into Niagara Falls. 
One drop of fresh oil smeared on the gasket before installation drops friction by 90% and guarantees a perfect seal. Every professional shop does this. Now you know why. Mistake 2. Turning the drain plug into a thread stripping party. Gotta make sure it doesn't leak. Give it one more aga dugga. Famous last words. Most oil pans are aluminum. The drain plug is steel. Guess which one loses. Over torque once and you permanently deform the threads. Next removal. It strips completely and you're dropping the pan for a $400, $800 repair. Factory torque specs are usually 18 to 30 feet LB depending on the vehicle. No torque wrench? Hand tighten until the crush washer flattens, then one quarter turn more. That's it. Your biceps are not a torque wrench. Mistake 1. Ignoring the oil life monitor like it's just a suggestion. This is the single biggest engine killer in modern cars, and it has nothing to do with the oil change itself. Today's oil life algorithms are scary accurate. They measure actual acid buildup, fuel dilution, thermal cycles, everything. When that change oil soon message hits 0%, the oil's ability to neutralize acids is basically gone. Keep driving anyway and wear metals skyrocket. Blackstone Labs sees samples all the time that went just 1,500 to 2,500 miles past the monitor with iron levels 300 to 500% above normal. Treat the oil life monitor like a heart attack warning from the engine itself because that's exactly what it is. There you have it. The 8 invisible mistakes that destroy more engines than bad oil ever could. Do these right and your motor will easily outlive the rest of the car. Which one of these have you been guilty of? Let me know the year, make, and model down in the comments. I read every single one. And if you want to know which modern oils actually survive 20,000 mile torture tests with almost zero wear, the next video is popping up right now. You re not gonna not believe which $28 oil beats several dollar ninety miracle synthetics. Tap it before it's gone. See you on the next one.